Alright, what's going on guys? It's Valrico here and uh I just got done watching UFC 197 live from Las Vegas, Nevada. John Jones versus Ovince St. Peru. And uh, it was a hell, of a hell of a card. It was an entertaining card. There were some lulls here or there. But for the most part, it was entertaining. So without further ado, let's just get into the action. And I want to start out with one of the, the fights on the card that I did not mention in my predictions video. But it was Yaya Ro Rodriguez getting a fucking amazing knockout. I really wasn't paying attention to this fight because I was looking at my phone. And I was talking to somebody. So, you know, I was just down looking looking down. All of a sudden I heard, crack! And then I heard jo or, uh, Joe Rogan go, oh! And I looked up and I looked at the replant. And this guy, Yaya Rodriguez hit a flying roundhouse kick and knocked his opponent out cold. I didn't even know who he was fighting. I think it was uh, Leedy or Leafy or something, one of those guys. And uh, I really wasn't paying attention to this fight because, like I said, I was looking at my phone. But I watched the replay of it and I was like, holy shit. Put him to bed with that flying roundhouse kick. Good night, sir. And with that being said, I want to move on to the next fight. Anthony Pettis versus Edson Barboza. Edson Barboza wins by decision. And I want to talk about these fucking, these kicks that I called. I, I called this fight uh, getting uh, Edson getting a knockout in the first round. But obviously it went to a decision as we've seen tonight. But he beat the brakes off uh, Anthony Pettis. I mean, he was throwing kicks galore. And I called that shit. I said, listen, these kicks are going to be legit. Don't fucking count this guy out. I think he went in the fight as a huge underdog. And I'm like, really? Really? Just because you know the name Anthony Pettis, you're going to... You're going to bet on him. He's not that good. He danced the fucking whole fight and got his ass whipped. I mean, he danced around the outside the entire fight. Didn't really land any significant shots. And his leg was bruised and battered. I, I told you before this fight uh, was going to happen in the predictions video. I said, listen, you better bring a fucking a lunch. You better pack a lunch and pack an extra leg because them thighs are going to get chewed the fuck up. So, you know, with that being said... It was a good fight, entertaining fight, and, uh, you know, he's <laughs> he's definitely going to have to ice them thighs because th he was beating the sh He threw at least, like, 50 leg kicks, bro. He beat the shit. He beat the shit out of them legs. And, uh, you know, in the post-fight interview, he was like, well, he kept switching to, uh, to, 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 to he said, he started, he said, he started uh, blocking and checking my outside leg kicks. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to throw inside leg kicks. And he just fucking, his leg was black and blue. It was disgusting. But, uh, nevertheless, let's continue on to the uh, co-main event of the evening. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson versus Henry Cejudo. Demetrius Johnson annihilates Henry Cejudo in the first round. Gets a TKO victory, KO victory, whatever you want to call it. I thought this was going to go to decision because that's normally what happens with, the, uh, with, with Demetrius Johnson. But no, no, no. Um, he comes out and just fucking he starts throwing these body these these knees to the body over and over again in the clinch up against the cage in the middle of the octagon just beating the shit his muay thai knees just beating the shit out of his body so you know on, upon uh, the break of one of these uh these clinches uh demetrius johnson throws a knee that looks like it's gonna go to the body but it kind of goes straight up and and hooks around his arm and knees Henry Cejudo right in the face, and that wobbles him. And uh, Demetrius Johnson rushes in, hits a, uh, hits another knee uh, to the body where you can hear him go, <gasps> you can hear Henry, and he said that in a post-fight interview. He said, I heard it. Henry Cejudo go, <gasps> on one of the knees to the body, and then he just swarmed in, and basically beat the shit out of him. It wins by uh, knockout in the first round. It was uh, it was crazy. It's like, dude, he's, clear, he's cleared out his entire division. There's no one left. He, he's like Achilles right now. He's like, is there no one else? Like, it's crazy. He's a fucking animal. I don't, I don't understand it. And then after the fight, he was promoting his Twitch and shit. I started giggling. I'm like, this guy's a savage. But uh, it was a good fight. Uh, it didn't last very long. But Mighty Mouse comes out and just annihilates him, sends him packing. It was crazy. But uh, let's move on to the main event of the evening for the Light Heavyweight Championship, the intern. Interim. I always call it intern. Interim light heavyweight championship belt. John Jones versus OSP. John Jones wins by decision, and uh, it was kind of a snoo a snoozer on the on the part of 
you know, I take OSP to win by a knockout as a long, long, long motherfucking shot. Talking 80 yard pass long shot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I picked him to win the fight, you know, just because you never know. He could catch John Jones or something. But John Jones has got a tremendous, he's got tremendous defense, a tremendous chin. And for some reason, every time when he gets into uh, 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 these fights with these people, they, they freeze up. I don't know why they freeze up. I guess they buy into the hype that he is just the greatest of all time, which he my he, he could be. I, I mean, I'm not going to say he's not, but, I mean, damn, go in there and fight, you know? If you're going to get knocked out, you get fucking knocked out. Throw, throw, throw caution to the wind. This guy, o, OSP, was in the fourth round and uh, trying to uh, do nothing. He didn't even throw barely any punches. He was just, John Jones was throwing a bunch of oblique kicks that were slowing his pace down. And at the beginning of the fight, John Jones threw a lot of spinning back kicks to the stomach. And uh, that took a lot of energy out of OSP. And he just he just beat him up. There's nothing more to say about that fight. I mean, he just beat the brakes off of him. You know, taught him a lesson and respect, all that good shit. And, uh, you know, John Jones comes out of this with a win. And basically what was a tune-up fight. <laughs> and I think they uh, announced that, you know, John Jones is going to fight a UFC 200 because Conor McGregor doesn't know how to show up to press conferences for some fucking reason. And he's going to fight uh, Daniel Cormier in the rematch, which I'm really not all that excited about. John Jones is going to uh, beat the brakes off of him, too. Like, it's, no, it's going to be nothing. It's going to be light work for John Jones. But uh, it, it was all around a good pay-per-view. Um, the prelims were uh, pretty good, too. There were some snoozers here and there. But it wasn't, like, the greatest fucking pay-per-view of all time. It was it was, it was good, though. It was, it was all right. But uh, nevertheless, like and subscribe all that bullshit. Twitter.com slash Valrico. YouTube.com slash Valrico. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm out of this bitch. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.